Zero Heroes, Popular Gen, your ultimate summer fan base for YouTube channels, popular animals, and gaming with Jen. I'm your host, Noah. Today, I'm going to be reviewing all of Jen's favorite things in Minecraft and Drone. Anything pink, anything piggy, and anything pupper fishy. <laughs> Sorry, it's Pink pigs and puffer fish day in honor of Jen's favorite things. I'm going to be showing you all these things in Minecraft once I get it set up. And yeah, I'm going to get it set up right now. Just hold on one second. You can see it, All right? There we go. Can you see it, guys? All right. All right. Just need to get it set up. If this controller will turn on. Uh, you know what? Let me turn on the light over here. Over here. Oh, no, that's not. a little, I guess. Okay. I finally need this controller turned on. And I did, I did not insert the Minecraft disc. <laughs> Second, guys, it takes a while for this to load. A while. I mean, not that long of a while. Look at that. It's suddenly brighter, and I don't know how. It's very strange. I do not know how that happened. Like, I literally don't know. Oh, it's oil adjusting. Well, I guess that thing is good for something. You know, the oil adjuster on my Kindle. Because now you guys can actually see the screen. <laughs> oh, but I also want to show you the village. I mean, the, no, this metropolis is out here. To my village. Very big, isn't it? All this redstone, too. There's like the central part right here. Yeah, oh, I wish I could move this closer. I could. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Wait, hold on one freaking second. Uh, ho hold on one second. Um, ah, that's better. Right, right there. All right, that that's a much better view. Get out of the way there. Yeah, that that's a better view, right? And plus, you can hear me better. Ah. So, Alright, but on with the show, I'm gonna have to go out of the village and, Oh my gosh, that tone is so loud. <laughs> what? You said it's so loud? Yeah. He's like, who in the world is he talking to? I'm in here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, do you think Nay Nay would like Minecraft? Maybe. May I ask a question? Yeah. Why is your computer there? No, I'm making a video. 
Of Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Alright, so, on with the show. First of all, we have Pink Stained Clay. Pink Stained Clay in my. <laughs> Pink Stained Clay in Minecraft is clay that's either dyed pink I mean, it's, sorry, either I mean, okay, it's, too it's clay that's dyed pink but this, I think this can also naturally spawn in the meta biome but that's a very rare biome so it would be extremely hard to find this naturally like extremely hard anyway, moving on okay, not that section this it's an aluminum aluma I think it's called right an aluma wait aluma uh, uh, an aluma flower it spawns in a you know, forest you spawn in forest what a gem like this I don't I don't I don't think they ever mentioned the name of it you know anyway that's what it is <laughs> See what else? Oh yeah, is a pinoy, panamana, a pinoy, a panamana. I don't know. Let me see. Peony. This is a peony. I don't know. I think this also spawns in forest. There's really like a bunch of flowers on one bush, if you would think about it. But yeah, that's where it spawns in the forest. Oh yeah, Splash Potion of Regeneration. This is also pink. Once, once you splash yourself or another mob with it, it will restore all of its health back. Yeah. Um, oh, let's see. Pink stained wool. Pink stain, I mean pink wool. This is wool from a sheet that's dyed pink. Although you could actually find it naturally on a rare pink sheet. Now this is actually the rarest sheet in the entire game. 0.001 some chance you're gonna find this? I don't know. I once found it once, just like my friend Mikey did. I, I found one once. I didn't catch it on video though, because it was actually. It's actually on my Kindle. I don't have the screen recorder. I don't have any screen recorder app, so I couldn't get it. Anyway, that's the story of one pink wool. <laughs> uh, let me see other pink stuff. I guess no more pink stuff. For this one, at least. Oh wait, yeah, it's also pink carpet. No, I think it, no, this is like a flat version of wool, pink wool. Or it is like a carpet in real life. I think you craft it by putting a wool block on the table. Oh wait, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll be right back. I really, really have to go to the bathroom, and I'll, I'll just be right back. Wait a second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. I really, really, like, really had to use the bathroom. Like you won't believe. Okay, I'm back here to show you even more pink things. I was saying, oops, just put it on the pink wool. We put it on the crafting table. This is what you get. It has to be dyed, or it just has to be naturally pink, what, whatever. Alright. That. Some more pink stuff in this is house. Hurt. Hey. Alright. Next on the list is pink glass. Oh, well, it's pink stained glass. I think it's glass and then a pink dye, if I believe. Oh, no, let me get out screen. Yeah, but I think it's. 
I think it's glass. Well, first of all, it smells sand in the fur furnace, then you get glass and anything. Now I think you use pink dye, you stain the glass, and then it's pink stained glass. Good use for decoration. Moving on. That's it for decoration. There's no pink redstone things. Okay, well, of course you probably know this one. Pink dye. Use this to dye things like armor, weapons. Oops. Weapons. Wait, no, not weapons. Armor, glass, oops, wool, you know, a bunch of stuff, because it's. I, I just lost hooks. Because it's dye. No, you dye stuff with it. <laughs> now, let's see, what else is on the list? Oh, that's it for materials. Uh, food, pink food. Um, raw pork chops. You get this by killing a pig. Kill a pig, get a raw pork chop, then you can eat it. Eat some pork chops like you were doing a restaurant. So that's where they actually get it from. I don't they actually drop pork chops. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, uh, raw chicken. That's one. That's one. It's also pink. You get it from killing an adult chicken. Not a baby chicken, they drop nothing but experience. Yeah, I forgot to mention this. Yeah, all the adult ones drop these things, not the baby ones. They only drop experience, including including the pigs. Uh. Sorry, I just moved on. Okay, sorry, my mom's giving me that time to do this video. And then at that time, I will have to end, and it will be sad. So that's why I'm trying to speed this up. Alright, let me see. Other pink foods. Um, I guess that's it for the pink foods. Alright. Weapons. There are no pink weapons. Wait. I just wanted to... And besides the splash post regeneration, there's also just the post regeneration where you, where you have to drink it. You can't splash it on yourself, you have to drink it. So you have a look. Look, I'm gonna drink it. See, so I already drink it. I don't know if it's finished drinking or not. Thing, and you know, this game is glitched, so it takes a while for you to actually eat or drink something at a you know, it gets very, uh, very annoying. It takes you like a long while. It just gets annoying. Anyway, um, let's hold my pink. Oh wait, can I can't tell what this says? Fermented, I think. Spider, spider. Oh no! I I just dug a hole. I do not need to do that. For me, it's fire eye. It's used in potion. It's, in, it's used in brewing. This thing, used in brewing. Although just a regular spy eye, you would actually eat. It's very strange and disgusting. I must admit, it's very, very strange and disgusting. Mm -hmm. Let's see what other pink things. Let's see, zombie. Ugh, wait, 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 zombie pig, a zombie pigment spawned egg is pink. A pig spawner, we spawn egg is pink. So all the pink things in Minecraft. Alright, so, now it's, besides pink now, we're doing pigs. We get all the stuff I need to demonstrate with it. I think it'll be on the web tool with some weapons. Ah, here we go. 
Okay, this is a pig. He was actually a pig was actually the first friendly mob in Minecraft. To be honest, yeah, I looked it up in the Guinness Book of World Records. This little guy is actually the first friendly mob in Minecraft. The first mob in Minecraft was a zombie. He's not friendly, he's hostile. So this is the first friendly mob in Minecraft. When you kill him, you get pork chops in it and a bunch of experience. I think like three experience. He was. Yeah. This pit. You know, every animal in Minecraft has something they're addicted to. I mean, every like friendly mob in Minecraft has something that they're addicted to, except a bat. As far as I know, except a bat. For example, in this case, it's addicted to carrots. I have a carrot on a stick, so that's why he's following me. Can't feed him though, because it's on a stick. But he recognizes it as a carrot, so. Now, this tool is actually useful because, you know, pigs were actually the first mobs in Minecraft that you could ride on. Yeah, horses came much, much later. Pigs were actually the first mobs you could ride on. So you had to place a saddle pig. And then you get on the pig. Now you use the, you actually use the carrot on the, what's it doing? Why did I throw that away? Give it back to me, let's go back there. I accidentally dropped my piston. I don't know why. Let's, let's pick it back up. Okay. Yeah, you use this to steer because pigs, as I said before, only animals in this game are addicted to carrots besides rabbits. Besides rabbits. Pigs, first ones are addicted to carrots, but rabbits came much later. So. Yeah, in Minecraft, you get the animals' food. So they can mate. I mean, so they can mate and make more of them. I'm serious. That's not the way it works in real life, but I guess that's the way it works in Minecraft. <laughs> oh, yeah. The other mob, other friendly mob that doesn't, that's not attracted to any food of any sort is a villager. Yeah, without this Carolina stick, your pig would wander, would still wander anywhere like nothing even happened. Those kids are addicted to carrots, like I said before, so they'll follow the carrot anywhere it's pointed to. It's how you steer. Although, that doesn't make it... Although, one flaw of this is that you can't make it stop because it will keep following the carrot. And when you switch, it will keep... Oh my gosh, guys, I'm really sorry. The little story thing popped up again, and I am so freaking mad about that. Anyway, if you didn't see it, this is what I covered. The pig was the first mob, I mean, friendly mob in Minecraft. He was the first, he was also the first mob you could ride on in Minecraft before horses. So I put this out on him, and I went, and I said that pigs were attracted to carrots like you know like sheep are attracted to wheat and y you know you use the carrot on a stick to help them steer because they'll follow the carrot wherever it goes only problem with this is that it won't no the only problem with this is that you can't stop it once you get it going and another and you, when you switch to another item, you'll just roam freely, so you can't fully stop him. No matter what you do. Right? And this game was like really glitched out. It was carrying me to different directions. I wasn't even noticing. I was just like, ugh. So that's about all there is about pigs. Jen, if you're watching this, I'm sorry about what I'm about to do. Like, I'm, I'm really, really sorry, Jen, but I don't like unnatural animals in in my world, unless if someone else spawns them in, so I'm really sorry for what I'm about to do, Jen, Re really sorry. May you rest in peace.
piece pigs. Not not pork chops. Not pork chops. Right. I have one last thing to show you guys. Oh wait, no. First of all, let me show you a zombie pigment. I can't spawn it because we're because I'm in peaceful right now. It would take. I don't know. It would take very long to change. Oh no! Somehow the screen got unadjusted. Very long to change from like easy, normal, or hard. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna have to go like really quickly now because it cut me off again. Because it, the storage space got so low that it popped up on my screen again and disconnected me from the Wi Fi. So I'm gonna have to really hurry with this. Okay, last but not least, the pufferfish. Pufferfish. Right, here we go. Pufferfish. It's a rare. F Wait, it's auto saving. Hold on. Wait. I'm gonna have to go really quick. Like, this is a rare fish you can catch with your fishing pole in survival mode. It's very rare. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go really quickly because it cut me off again. Okay, this is a fish. Rare fish you can catch in survival mode. Okay, rare fish. Okay, subscribe to me, subscribe to Pat, subscribe to Jen, and I'll fix this problem. So, see you later, guys. Bye. Can the fish